What happens to a Christian when they die? Now remember, a Christian isn't just someone who comes to church. It's not someone who is a good person or someone whose mum and dad are Christians. A Christian is someone who has been transformed by Jesus. Someone who says sorry for all the ways they have sinned against God and has asked him to forgive you. Jesus was willing to pay for our sins by dying the death that we deserve on the cross. When he rose again and ascended, he prepared a place for those who love him. But what will this place be like? We will not all be floating around, bouncing on the clouds. We won't be little winged angel babies. We won't be playing harps and it will certainly not be boring. So what is heaven actually like? In the last book of the Bible, it describes it as a new city. The capital city where the temple was, was called Zion or Jerusalem. But the Bible tells us that where Jesus is and where Christians will join him will be a new Jerusalem. When Jesus returns, the entire world will be remade in a perfect way. Jesus will dwell there with his people. And what do we know about this place? Well, I've looked through the Bible for some clues. And we obviously can't imagine perfectly as it would blow our minds. But here are some little things to excite us. We will see Jesus, God himself, face to face. And we will worship him. Unlike this cursed world, there will be no sin, crying, death, mourning or pain. We will recognise and know one another. It will be a place of beauty like we have never seen before. There will be pure water and delicious food to enjoy as we feast with Jesus. It will be a place of safety. And here are three pictures which the Bible uses to show how safe it will feel. No darkness because the light of the world is there. Children playing in the streets and the lion and the lamb lying down together in perfect peace. We will be healthy and full of energy, like leaping calves. We will have resurrected, perfected bodies like the one Jesus rose with. We won't ever get bored because everyone will have God-appointed tasks to do that will be enjoyable and won't be tiring and boring, including care of the earth, building new things and preparing food and drink. It will be even better than anything we can even imagine. Why? The best thing about this place is that we will be with Jesus, who has loved us from before Adam and Eve were even put on the earth, and we will finally see him face to face.